trying to figure out how much wood is needed to build this box, and that really is another way of saying surface area. So, um, in this problem, we're figuring out the surface area of this box right here. And we have these three dimensions. Let's call this one up and down height. So our height is two feet, and our width is three feet. And our depth, or our length, is three feet. So how much wood? Well, <coughs> excuse me. In this part of the test, you'll have a, an equation sheet. And what you'll probably see is uh, the equation for surface area written as 2WL plus 2WH plus 2W, um, excuse me, 2HL. So let's change depth to length. And now we can plug it in. 2WL means 2 times W times L plus 2 times W times H plus 2 times H times L. Really what we're doing is just multiplying all these different combinations right here. So we have 2 times 3 times 2 and then 2 times 3 times 2 and then 3 times 3 times 2. So it's 9 times 2 plus 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 plus 6 times 2, because we have 2 times 3, 3 times 3, and 3 times 2. And we have 12, 24, and 18. So we're going to add those up, 24 plus 18. 24 plus 18 is 34, plus 8 more is 42. And that's our answer. Let's see if they ask us anything else. That's it for that problem. In this problem right here, we're comparing the rectangular prism to the cylinder. And what they want to do is um, you have these containers and you want to find the volume of each of them. Now volumes, um, I think, a quicker process than surface area for both these shapes. So for the cylinder, we take the area of the circle on top and multiply it by the height of the cylinder. And for the rectangular prism, we take one of the faces, I'll take this one on the front, find the area of that and multiply it by the other dimension that we didn't use. So it's like taking 14.2 times 8 and then multiplying that by 23. So we're going to show our work. The volume of the prism, you could write it like this, V and then a little subtext prism, is 8 centimeters times 14.2 centimeters times 23 centimeters. Now they told us to round, so that means we wait until we have an answer here to round. So the volume of the prism is then 8 times 14.2 times 23. You'll have a calculator on this part. So when you plug it in the calculator, at this point, record the exact answer of 8 times 14.2 times 23. And if you multiply those three numbers, you should get 26, 12, and then 0.8. So they want us to round to the nearest uh, whole number, so you use the tenths place right below the whole numbers. And since this tenths place is above or what is, is it included in the category of 5 or above, we round up the nearest whole number to 2,613. And we're multiplying centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. That's cubic centimeters. And the idea there is how many cubes would actually fit inside this shape. So you want to write those units there. Oh, I'm sorry. They do for us. Now for the cylinder, um, we have the area of the circle, which is going to be pi times radius times radius, and that times the height. The height is 23 centimeters. The radius is 8 centimeters, so 8 times 8 is 64 centimeters. And then times pi. Um, we're rounding, so on the calculator is a pi button. You could press that, or I would go with 3.14159 as a safe bet to use in this equation. So what you, you can do on the calculator is press the pi button, times 64, and then take that times 23. You multiply the 3 to find the volume, and you have 4,624.4. Now when you round this one to the nearest whole number, we use the tenths place again, except this time it's below 5, so we leave it this part of the number exactly as it is, so 4,624 cubic centimeters. So in this problem right here, um, we're trying to find total surface area of this 
what's supposed to be a pillow. So to do that, we have to add up both areas of both circles. That's two circles plus this middle area, which has a height of 15 and a length that wraps around the circle. When you wrap around a circle, that's circumference. And that, in this case, is just, well, diameter times pi, or 6 times pi. So we have this equation right here, and let me plug in the value of r over here, squared, so it's 9 times pi times 2, plus 15 times 6 times pi. 15 times 6 is 90 times, well, pi. 9 times 2 is 18 pi. Well, I would leave it in terms of pi right now because when you have 18 pi's and 90 pi's, you have 108 pi's. So now on the calculator, instead of doing 18 times pi, writing down the long number, and then 90 times pi and writing down that long number, we can just do this step right here, which is 108 times the pi button. And what we get when we do 108 times the calculator's approximation of pi, we get 339.2. Two nine two. I can stop right there because we're rounding the nearest hundredth. To do that, there's the hundredth place right here. It goes ten hundredths, thousands. We use the smaller place next to it, which happens to be two in this case. So we leave the nine where it is. So our answer is three hundred and thirty-nine point two nine square inches. So, oh, so they changed the problem here by saying, what if we shorten the length of the pillow from 15 to 12 inches, uh, how much less fabric is needed? And they say round the answer to the nearest hundredth. So we have this answer, we're going to use again. And we're going to add a smaller pillow, and we can subtract the two. Um, so if we go back to our equation, we had uh, 18 pi plus 90 pi, but now the 90 pi is going to change because instead of 15, we have 12, so it's, it'll be 12 times 6 times pi, and 12 times 6 is 72 pi. 18 pi plus 72 pi is 90 pi. And then to figure that out, we could have our calculator in hand and do 90 times the calculator's approximation of pi to get 282.743. And we use the 3 to round the 4, leave it where it is. We're rounding 282.74. So now we have these two numbers. And we would take 339.29, subtract 282.74 from it. And we can go right across. 9 minus 4 is 5. We can't do 2 minus 7, so we'll borrow one value from here. And now 12 minus 7 is 5. And then 8 minus 2 is 6. We'll borrow one of the hundredths here. So we have 13 tens and minus 8 tens is 5. And then 2 minus 2 so the answer is 56.55.